<laughs> you serious? Sheer fucking hubris. So it looks like they're still really going on ahead with this, huh? Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. Disney's D23 presser is now done and we've gotten a whole slew of good news as YouTube reviewers. Namely, that the live action remake of Snow White starring our girl Rachel Zegler is still on. But after so much backlash, why would Disney still be going on ahead with this? Especially after the Daily Wire has their own version coming out starring Brett Cooper. Why would they still waste their money on a movie they know will tank? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the raging dumpster fire that is Disney. Before we get into this, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out with continuing to grow and it's totally free. We've gotten the awesome news that Kevin Feige has fired the whole lot of activists over at Marvel this week. And that's reason to celebrate a little but it seems that Disney is at it again with their live action remake of Snow White starring everyone's favorite village idiot, Rachel Zegler. So was the backlash against Rachel Zegler justified? Yes and no. Certainly there are those extremist trolls that either hate her because of her race or gender, and I completely disagree with that element. It's never okay to judge someone by the color of their skin or what's between their legs. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, we can only judge someone based on the content of their character, which is what the majority of the internet was doing with Rachel Zegler. Zegler really brought this upon herself, repeating the mistakes of countless other people before her. She has not approached her situation with any degree of humility or deference. If she was really thankful for her opportunities, then maybe she wouldn't be shitting so much on the source material that afforded her the opportunity to become a millionaire. Hell, even Ronaldo had the common sense not to shit on Real Madrid who gave him a home. It's precisely her lack of humility that people took issue with. She should have really done a deep dive and self-assessment into who she is and what her character should contain. She should have approached life with a bit more humility and deference, but her so-called apology showed that she's still got a lot of growing up to do. It felt more like whining and complaining and a complete hissy fit breakdown than a genuine apology, but it provided for a lot of entertainment online because everyone loves watching a good train wreck and now Snow White is still on. It's Hollywood, baby. The activists at Disney have created the perfect opportunity for conservative outlets to put out their own versions of movies and TV shows, their own versions that are actually good and in some cases are done better. This is a real shame because like many millennials, I grew up watching Disney. I really enjoyed all the cartoons and movies growing up and I'll even admit I had a huge crush on Ariel even though she was a cartoon and a mermaid with no discernible holes to make copulation even feasible, but I digress. Over the past several years, Disney showed its complete lack of creativity and began to rehash old classics and make live action remakes, often changing the stories, characters, and environments in very questionable ways. There's no better example of this insertion of progressive ideology than the Snow White remake starring the ever memeable Rachel Zegler. This movie has faced so much backlash that it's catapulted not just my channel, but a vast amount of YouTube channels to grow and flourish. So I've gotta be thankful to Disney and Rachel Zegler for this growth and that they're still going ahead with this. But I'm not trying to simply bash Disney for the sheer sake of bashing them. I truly do want them to improve and do want them to return to good storytelling because I genuinely care for these classic stories. But alas, Disney just isn't delivering what audiences want. Cue the Daily Wire. It was announced last year that the Daily Wire would produce their own version of Snow White starring Brett Cooper. Notice the subtle difference? Yeah. Brett Cooper more closely aligns with the source material than Rachel Zegler does. And that's the big issue I take. Instead of actually, you know, take a risk, create a new IP, write something new, these lazy Hollywood writers chose to just swap the race of the main character. The sad part is that these writers think they're being woke and advancing the cause of minorities and women. But what they're really doing is setting up these people to fail. 
As we saw in the Star Wars TV series Obi-Wan Kenobi, the character of Reva was so reviled by the fans that it was really Moses Ingram who bore the brunt of the attacks when it really should have been the lazy writers and producers trying to insert their agenda into the show. And they're at it all over again with Snow White, but this time with CGI dwarves. So much for DEI. So why is Disney still going ahead with Snow White with Rachel Zegler? Well, there's a few reasons. Namely, they've sunk so much money into the movie that it isn't feasible to pull the plug now. Another reason is that there's no one to tell them to stop or even that they need to stop. So until they get someone with a little common sense like Kevin Feige over at Marvel, they're going to continue making mistakes like this. Remember, you can still have a princess of color. The princess and the frog proved that way back in 2009. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Disney should just cut their losses and move on? Or will they continue to give YouTubers like me the cannon fodder for more views and subs? Please do let me know down below in the comments, and as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.